Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake. I am a full-time couch flipper down here in Tampa, Florida. Essentially what I do is I buy couches below market value and I sell them at market value. I'm, I've been doing this now for about six weeks and if you've seen a couple of my videos, it kind of goes over a little bit of my tips and tricks and how I'm successful at doing this and being able to support myself full-time and my family full-time. Um, but particularly in this video, I kind of wanted to go over a... Um, a find that my my wife found for free. It was a leather couch and love seat with the studs um, set, and it was very dirty, um, almost disgustingly dirty, and we almost didn't even pick it up. Um, when we took the cushions off to take it out of the house, the cushions were terribly like deformed and 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 bad. And I'll actually link that here so you guys can take a look at it, but. Um, it was about a 30 minute drive, so I decided to pick them up anyways and see what we could do with it. And I'm super excited that I did. Um, so I finally got the chance to work on them. I, I, it's been crazy busy since my last video that I, that I uploaded, I think was two or three days ago. The garage is kind of empty now, as you can see, you can walk through it, but we still do have some couches. Um, but I have a lot of deliveries and a lot of pickups tomorrow. So today, Tonight, actually, this earlier today, I was able to actually work on this couch. It was kind of put in the back burner. I had so much other things that were priority um, versus this because I knew this was free and it was going to take more of my time. But I do wanted to go over exactly what I did and how I was able to fix it, what I used, the cloth I used, um, before and after pictures, and I'll kind of walk you through that. So just give me one second. We'll go to that. All right, guys. So here's the couch um, after we cleaned it up. And here's the love seat after we cleaned it up. Um, definitely, definitely looking a lot better. It had food residue on it. It had some just stains on it. It just was never, you could tell, it was from a family of like three or four kids. And you could just tell it, it was well used and not necessarily taken care of. So I'm um, very hesitant actually to pick this one up. But um, I'm really, really glad we did. And I'll show you underneath the cushions as well where we had to re, uh, refurbish the, the lining on it. But as you can see, if, if you can just tell there, the cushions look very thick. So that's very enticing for the buyer. So I do think we're going to get at least 350 to 400 off of this couch. Um, I'm not sure how the lighting is going to be, but we also fixed the back to um, from the pictures that I've shown you what it looked like before um, with a little bit of leather conditioner and... Um, leather balm we were able to fix that up by no means is it perfect but it's definitely going to be um enticing to the buyers so it definitely looks a lot cleaner than it did and i'll show you over here so we started off what i did is i just filled this bucket right here with this microfiber cloth i filled this with soap and hot water and then i just went through both couches and i just wiped them down as good as i could i found the nasty spots um, in here was really nasty, just nasty on here, nasty on here. It had splatter marks on the side, just really was not well taken care of. Um, but as you can see, most of it did come off. So we're super excited about that. And then another thing that I did after that is I used this leather, um, leather new, basically saddle soap. My wife is um, really was really into horses, and she used this on her saddles and stuff when she was younger. So um, we found this on Amazon. It was not expensive at all, but I, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, we've had it for a long time. I've only bought one, and we still have quite a bit left. So I went over that with this cloth here on everything that you see on this couch, as well as this one. And I think it looks really well. On the cushions, I didn't do anything. Um, to try to lighten up the color other than the saddle soap. And I don't even think I really have to. The only spot that I do see um, is this right here. So I probably will go over that with a little bit of the brown leather that we do have. But like I said, I'm super pumped about this. 350 profit and free couch. Not really mad about it. So I'll flip up these uh, cushions here so you guys can take a look at the underneath and see how we did. All right, guys, so by no means is it perfect, but what we did is we went to Joanne Fabrics and we picked up um, similar looking style as far as color and stuff of what it had before. And what we did is we cut out the other, the old, 
threw it away and then we just put the new one on we measured it and uh, my wife actually super glued it i was just going to staple it but she thought super glue would be better so it, it looks a lot better so when we do deliver it to somebody's house it's not going to be like oh wow there's holes and it looks nasty and this and that so something so small can really really change a couch so i do recommend you guys especially for the free ones like i said don't be afraid of the free ones just know you're going to put some a little extra love into it a little tlc maybe a little bit of money but if you know what i said if you get this for free and i think we got that for less than 20 bucks or so it's definitely worth the time so so i just kind of wanted to show you what that looked like all right so that particular project is done um me and my wife like i said it took us about two hours today by the time we were done, I wasn't able to go ahead and post them um, up on the, on the marketplace, Craigslist, and offer up yet. Um, it was too dark, so I will do that tomorrow morning in between my pickups and deliveries. So it's going to be a crazy, hectic day tomorrow, but I will keep you guys in touch on how this particular project did since you have a little bit more backstory on it. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will be putting out some more videos here in the next couple of days. Peace.